start us off today. Can I down to Mike? Mike, can I talk? So, Rick, what went into starting Lamonte today? Was that a matchup thing, or is that a long-term thing potentially? No, you know we really. Uh, I've just got so much respect for, for Coach Huggins and the fact that uh, you know at the end of their last game they went back and were doing some pressing, and we felt like um, that they might start the game trying to take Jordan Bone out where we uh, couldn't get the ball to him. It, we didn't want to put the pressure on Admiral and and Eve trying to think they had to handle the ball. That's the only reason we did it was to, uh, for him to, to have another ball handler in the game to start the game, another guard in the game, basically. I don't know. You know, we'll, again, it really, to be honest with you, it kind of helped us with our rotation between the guards a little bit better. It helped us like that. But I've said before, you know, we look, we feel like we've got seven guys that can start at any point in time. But uh, I'll break down the film and see. But, um, you know, Eve is so mature about it. Lamonte, I mean, I don't think either one of them uh, really do care, to be quite honest with you. And, but, you know, we'll look at it based on what we think we need to do to get ready for our, our opponents. Uh, Rick, I can safely assume you weren't happy with how your team came out in the first half. You guys go down double digits early. What do you think constitutes that? Well, I thought defensively we played as w maybe as well as we played all year defensively in the first half. But we just settled on the offensive end. We didn't, we didn't do anything except just shoot the ball. You know, we, we had no concept of what we were trying to do. And... Just uh, we just shot it, and I'm not saying they were bad shots, but it's not what we were looking for to start the game in the way that we want to play. And uh, we, uh, and if you don't move them around a little bit, you're not going to get a chance to get to the offensive glass. I mean, Bobby's teams play so hard, and I told the team last night I've watched him coach for a long, long time. And other than the fact that I think his teams play as hard as anybody, they rebound the ball. They rebound as well as anybody I've ever seen, and and uh, and I have that much respect for him to know that if you don't move the ball, you're not going to get second chances at it. John, David, and Rob. Rick, uh, just the way West Virginia plays very physically inside, aggressive, as you mentioned, you think this was good preparation for the game to come against South Carolina, another hard-nosed defensive team? Yeah, absolutely, John. There's, there's no question that uh, – uh, you know, they uh, very physical. and But with that said, I'm not sure the first half if we even look to try to get the touches in there. But and you got to give them credit for that because uh, they make you work. And they, they were determined to throw bodies at Grant. And uh, if he doesn't fight for that inside position, they can push him out and they can certainly help from there. But, uh, again, we're going to see the same thing, as you mentioned, Tuesday night in, in uh, Columbia. They're going to uh, – get at it the same way. Very physical, hard-nosed, uh, trying to run you out of your offense. And uh, so that, yeah, we're going to see it again. David. Uh, Rick, how would you kind of describe what you saw from your guys mentally coming, under, coming into the timeout when you guys were down double digits early? You know, I, I think they were fine there. And again, you know, we told them that just what I kind of was explaining to you all that, you know, we were, we were playing hard. So it wasn't like we weren't locked into the game, but uh, and I told him again at halftime, we weren't locked in offensively. Uh, we didn't uh, – and, and, again, I'm, I'm not saying some of those shots weren't open shots, but it's not the way we want to start games and uh, not uh, moving the ball the way we want to move it to, and understand the game, that you've got to get the ball going from side to side at times if you want to have a chance to get some offensive rebounds and some driving lanes. But uh, uh, I didn't think the guys were – panicked or anything like that. I mean, because we, they were playing hard. We just weren't playing real smart on the offensive end. Great. I mean, you got you won by 17, so I don't mean this to sound critical, but I mean, you concerned when you got so many mature guys that they're so inconsistent from half to half. I mean, you play great defense in the first half. They, they shoot 60% in the second half, and it's kind of the other side of the coin offensively. Yeah, yeah, Rob, and, and that's what we talk about and the fact. But, you know, and, and when a team gets down, I mean, we did a really nice job in the first half of not fouling a team that is – very physical that's going to look to play within inside of 15 feet. And if you're back in there, you know, they hit some threes in the first half. But the second half, when you get a lead, now they're playing against the lead, but they're also playing against the clock. And they start putting their head down trying to drive the ball to get fouled. And uh, the start of the second half, when we were actually defending there for a little bit, they drove by Grant, they drove by John Fulkerson. And when that happened, we, put, we started putting fouls on them. I mean, I think they got to the – I don't know if they got – 
to the bonus quicker, but it seemed like the start of that half, we were just fouling, just constantly fouling. And, but that's them, too, you know, knowing that, hey, they're down, they, they got to, you know, try to get to the foul line, make some shots while the clock's not running. But, uh, and then we got, I thought, slack a few times. But you, you go back, I don't know how many points they scored off for turnovers, but plays like uh, Grant trying to be too cute with it when he, we get a steal and he tries to throw it, they deflect the ball. And remember, Admiral threw the ball in out of bounds. Those are the plays. Those are the plays that have to be eliminated. Those plays turn into baskets, and that's not against your defense. And that's how teams do shoot 50, 60 percent against you. It's not. I'm not sure how many they really got against our set defense. It's those uh, open court turnovers that turn into easy baskets, and there's no defense for it. Did you feel like Admiral was pressing early, or was he doing the defense and rebounding stuff? No, I think he, there's no doubt he's pressing, and, and but he settled in. He ended up with a double double. When he and it, if he's just, he's just got to stop. He's got to understand he's a better basketball player than making shots. He is. I mean, if he'll just trust himself, and all players go through periods where they don't make shots, but you just you can't get in your own head, and you just got to play the game. And he puts too much time in it. To, Put pressure on himself to do that because he'll he'll if he'll just get lost in the flow he'll do that, but uh, the fact is he got to the board. Grant again, what two two three rebounds a day and and uh, that's where he's got to he's got to get more consistent. I mean there's no way that he can not have more rebounds than that if he's really locked into it. Rick, there were a couple of flagrant one fouls there in the second half. What were your thoughts on those plays? If anything you could see from him, was that just? Kind of a physical basketball game, or was that a little more? I think they, I, I think both of them were really in, inadvertent. Uh, again, the officials they go to the monitor and they, you know, when we when they got called for one, uh, there was no foul. But when the guy ran by, he hit in the face, which was again, I don't think it was anything intentional at all. I don't, but it happened. The uh, cylinder rule doesn't apply, does not apply when you have your back to the ball. So that was a good. Another, the one when that Admiral, that was a good call by the official. You don't, you know, if you got your back, there's no cylinder rule. You got to be facing guy for the cylinder to come in play, and he had his back to him. And just as he turned up, you know, he hit him in the face, and I, he didn't mean to do it, but he did hit him. So the officials, they did a good job with both of those. Rick, uh, now that you've won two games after being ranked number one, do, do you put that much significance in that as to how the team handled that ranking? Well, to be, to be quite honest with you, I talked to them about uh, it's new to them. You know, it's new to them. They've, uh, they've earned it, but they can't forget what got them where they are. And uh, is there more noise around them? Obviously, it is. But they've got to be mature enough to deal with that. And, uh, and again, defensively, we did it today. We did it. We, we did it. And we came out, so we were locked in there. But I don't know why we got away from what we were doing offensively. And uh, I just told him the most important thing right now is, is to remember we got here by being a terrific team. It wasn't about individual guys. It was about everybody. And there was times today when guys are shooting the ball quick, you wonder where their mindset is. And, uh, but I get it because they, they haven't been in this position. Uh, but it's about us trying to continue to get better as a team. Individual guys get better. But we can't get away from who we are and what we've done to get to this point. Back here, Coach. You mentioned uh, with Lamonte you wanted another ball handler. What else specifically did you like about his game today? I, I thought he – all but one play, I, I thought he let down when he gave up a three uh, where he – and it was probably my fault. I left him out there too long. I think he was going on five minutes at, at that point in time. But Lamonte can really defend if he wants to. He really can. And uh, and he showed some of that today. And uh, – I, when I did take him out one time, he did a step back three. I said, we're not doing that in, early in the possession. There's no need to do that. And those were the plays in the first half that I thought those kind of – and he wasn't the only one. And, uh, uh, and we want guys to have the freedom to feel like they can shoot, shoot the ball, but they've got to understand still you're playing against a team that plays really hard, tough-nosed pressure basketball where they want you to shoot quick shots. They uh, don't want you to move it very much. They want to be able to – stay where they are with their help defense so they can rebound the ball. But I thought Lamonte, um, I wasn't worried, if we, you know, once we made the decision, you know, through the scout, you know, uh, that we were going to do it for the ball handling reason. I mean, it, it, it didn't affect him. I actually talked to him about it a week ago, and he, do, he doesn't care if he starts. But I thought he came in, and really I thought he was good. Just a, He's not going to play perfect, but overall I thought he did, did a good job. 
All right, thank you.